Namaste dear friends. Today we are going to demonstrate uh, a very special thing in Pythagoras theorem. As I invited you last time, just not to miss it, because today we are doing Pythagoras theorem through homemade animation. Keep watching till the end. Thank you. Well, dear friends, today we are discussing something on Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. The theorem is just that the square on the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle equals to the sum of squares on its legs okay so we have the right angle triangle over here like this and this is the right angle with reference to this right angle the side opposite to that one is the hypotenuse and the square on the hypotenuse this is square equals to the sum of is got some legs legs means all the two sides so we are going to establish this by animated figure making a flip book uh, we have a figure like this right angle triangle having e squares on each side this yellow one is on the hypotenuse and this green and blue ones are on the legs and just to clear the animation I have divided this e square into two rectangles like this while dividing the into two rectangles the principle I have used here is that I have dropped perpendicular from vertex to this side so there is a perpendicular line making two rectangles and let's draw one right angle triangle exactly in equal in area to this one and if we shift it over here what happens the area of this rectangle becomes the area of the parallelogram that one and the area of this red rectangle also likewise this red, red rectangles becomes equal to the parallelogram because area does not change by cutting and rearranging it that's why we have cut it out here and the same area is rearranged over here. Therefore, rectangles and parallelograms here in these situations have the equal area. And we have another theorem also to justify this thing. This rectangle, this rectangle over here, and this parallelogram, both of them stand on the same base, this, and between the same parallel. That's why they have the same area. We have the theorem like that. The same thing applies to this rectangle and parallelogram also. And from this shape, this one in my animation, this one in my animation, it moves upwards like that and goes and goes and goes up to the desired position so that this base, that one fits exactly on the legs of the previous right angle triangle, become the shape like that. So this goes up there and what is happening here is that we had a uh, right angle triangle with e squares on its side and we have this e square destructed into a, a kite shape something like that and that one moves up it goes up goes up and up and up and up and when it fits exactly into that one then we have this type of shape here we can do some geometrical analysis in this situation this parallelogram with red color and this e square with green color are such that both of them is stand on the same base they stand on the same base and they lie between the same parallel that is why geometrically both of them have the same area likewise in this case also this blue square and this brown parallelogram are such that they stand on the same base and between the same parallel therefore they have the same area 
So it means this area is equal to that one and this is equal to that one means that the area of this LO1 because this is the transformation of LO square into this disrupted kite and these two have the same area therefore the area of this is squared equals the sum of the areas of these two squares. That's how we prove it. And just to prove that one, we create the animation. And that animation just takes this parallelogram, transform into the square. And this parallelogram transforms into the another square, blue square. That way, we create the animation. To create that animation, we need a series of figures like that. For example, I have so many figures here. You can see so many figures are made. What I have done here, this is the square and the hypotenuse and these are the squares on the leg and it is divided into two parts as I said earlier and it is pushed gradually upwards and goes to the position where the triangle over here fits exactly onto the triangle over there and we have this type of shape, kite shape, what I said before and it moves, it moves and goes to its top position this way and after that it just uh, starts moving to this direction and gradually goes and fits onto these two squares and I'll show it by making a flip book the flip book is here with me the first figure is exactly the same as in the introduction a right angle triangle with squares on it different side is square on hypotenuse and is square on legs and after that this is divided into two rectangles this way and then this rectangle is pushed upward and it goes this way and the flip book when I flip and you will see the animated motion and that motion will help us to verify Pythagoras theorem this way Well, dear friends, throughout my videos, more than 20 mathematics videos in this YouTube channel so far, what I am trying is just to engage students in different kind of activities in mathematics and think something alternatively. Uh, try to verify uh, the relation uh, between uh, geometrical shapes or the relation between area and perimeter, something like that, somehow in different way than usual and that will motivate them to learn mathematics and to understand it, it better and today too in this presentation proving Pythagoras theorem is not a big deal to the students or to the teacher but creating a kind of uh, extra activities like animation what we have done here is something uh, interesting to the students and we had to uh, make our student the creator not the user only I hope students should have enjoyed this and keep watching for more videos and like share and subscribe them uh, for instant notification thank you very much